Hey guys, welcome to Heal It. I wanted to make a quick, just update video about going to foods from the past. Okay, so basically I went home, I came to parents, spent a whole day traveling, <laughs> and I came home and there was like no fruit, there was like no eggs, like there was just like pork, cheese and bread that's all i can remember i came home and there was just no food for me to basically kind of consume but i did find one of these modulin eternal nutrition kind of re meal replacement things one of these has got 2000 calories in it, like loads of vitamins and it kind of can sustain you and it's what i used to be addicted to this is usually given to patients just for eight week periods when they're in the most bad condition but I used to kind of get addicted to it because it kind of it kind of made you feel like average you know when I was really bad that was good but then if you want to get to even better then this is not what you need you know but I got addicted to this and this is basically when there was nothing to eat at home this is what I went to so it was my go-to I used to just kind of just love it because it was so calorie dense and there was no food here I was like I'm just going to get loads of calories in because I'm trying to put a bit of healthy weight on but you know what this isn't it because you know after I just had this the day afterwards I, I literally went into full blown like cold sweat for the whole day I couldn't get out of bed and it just kind of shows you because I've been I've been almost like feeling like high kind of just off living and feeling good naturally with all like, the like good stuff I've been having, vegetable juice and fruit and just nutrient dense plant based food. I'm just feeling great off it. So just again going back to this, it just my body just like fell into shock. Like and then I started feeling like heavy. Started feeling really heavy and slow and not as energetic. And it's just it's like you know what today I just drank over a litre already of vegetable juice because it's like I got to, like neutralize this and like get this this crap out of my system <laughs> I went I had diarrhea straight after like the day in the morning after I haven't had diarrhea for a long time eating a lot of fruit vegetables high fibrous plant-based food so I'm just like this went right through me um, nose starts getting more runny uh, what else just feeling tired and I had to sleep like an extra three four hours to feel as well kind of well rested didn't expect that and it's almost do you know what this was like the last packet at here my parents so I'm really happy about that because we're not going to order any more from the pharmacy if you look at the ingredients on this the ingredients are actually shocking. Once I've actually been on all this like plant-based food for so long, I'm really like appreciating what the fuck is in here. Because it's ingredients. And the first ingredients are always like the bulk. And then it goes to the least important. First it's glucose syrup, casein milk, sucrose, which is just basically sugar, uh, plus the glucose syrup in the beginning. Milk fat, medium chain triglycerides, minerals, and a list of my minerals like potassium, citrate, calcium, phosphate, sodium, citrate, calcium, carbonate, magnesium chloride, potassium, hydroxide, potassium chloride, ferrous sulfate, zinc sulfate, magnesium oxide, manganese sulfate. Yeah, and the list goes on. Um, God. Yeah. It's basically just sugar and like milk and milk protein and like in yogurt at least the milk protein is like denatured in a certain way so it's more absorbed like in yogurt it's broken down the casein's broken down and the body treats it a lot differently but here it's in this like most pure form unnatural form that's the problem and then glucose syrup is like the main source of calories glucose syrup and the sugar as well comes back and milk fat I mean yeah, I just I just fell into like hot sweats yesterday, and I had to take a sh like a shower in like Epsom salt. Like I thought that helped me. I took some of vitamin C and paracetamol. I was like, that's like when, when I don't know what to do. That's what happens. Like when I'm getting a bit like oh shh, 
oh no, this could get bad. That's, that's like my go-to as well. That's probably got to change as well. Yeah, uh, like my bun. Um, that's like my only positive, really. But I have learned like this vegetable juice is like the mainstay of every diet. Like if you want to feel light, energetic. You know what? And it just reaffirms me. Like sometimes you can't get to point A straight away. You have a few little kind of one, two, three day bit setbacks or something. But this has been like a weekend setback for me. Went to the toilet straight after having this module in. It, you mix it up with water and you shake it up. It's like a powder. Looks like something else. <laughs> um, but you know what? I really appreciate everything. Cause like you modulin, I was realizing I was getting a bit tired. It was getting a bit tiring for me to walk up the stairs, and I was running like miles last week, miles and cycling and everything and I was cycling the other day as well and it wasn't I was kind of I was get, doing a good consistency but I was I was thinking hmm do you know what I mean like sometimes it's that next last level you have to kind of fight for and it's going to be a bit difficult I think but like I think <laughs> this is not going to be it like mm, you know and uh, a lot of vegetable juice fruits and uh, yeah that's definitely the way I've also just like not had dates for like a day or two and I've not had like like kefir for a day or two and I've had basically no gas like because before I was having a bit so I'm going to have to reduce the dates and like the kefir and stuff so I mean that's kind of me my next steps and trying to make it all work might have some water kefir instead like I've been playing around with a bit of that as well just may have to increase the dosage yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm not saying eternal nutrition is actually really good. If you like, if you're on a terrible Crohn's flare and like nothing really stays down and you're gassing from anything and everything, and it's painful and it's like they don't know what medicine to give you, they'll probably put you in this and this will help you. This will kind of get you to like average feeling. This and I've been in this for a while because it's just like the easiest thing to do. Uh, you know, I wasn't as like energetic or as sharp as I am now. Like I was a bit more kind of like passive and a bit more, let's just go along with this kind of feeling. But now I'm just, I have so many more levels to give off myself. So, so this gets you to like a good average state. It basically, it's kind of, it's all the nutrients in its most simplest form. So like the sugars, the proteins, it's kind of simple, it's everything what, nutritionally officially is required then it's all in here so i can it'll kind of pop you up because before i've gone into the fruit diet really quick and then i went on this and it kind of got me back into a good state i have to be honest that's why now i'm really keen on doing it with exercise and more water and as part of like a more transitional diet which will take me some time to get maybe to just fruit you know now i'm paleo and for that, at the moment, that's really helping me. So I'm kind of no white grains, gluten free. And that's been like, I think this has got to be the way I go to get to the veganism, which might be like a five year plan, could be a one year plan, could be half a year plan, you know? But if I don't go through this paleo, then I won't get there. And this, although it really helped me for a bit, it's not gonna get me to my ultimate goal, you know. Like it's, it's just kind of like a, a stepping stone. And when I'm once I'm ready, this stuff I'll forget what it is. And you know what? This time I was I was drinking it because before I was basically addicted to it. It didn't even taste that nice. Before it was like so thick and creamy. Now it's a bit more sweet and like bland and ob obviously creamy. It's like two liters you have to drink of this to get this into you. Two liters is 2,000 calories. And it's like, you know what? I don't, I'm not, I don't want that. It's actually quite bland. 
because like once you start eating fruit and vegetables you really start appreciating flavour because it's so rich. Um, yeah but what I'm gonna say is yeah this is good but this can't be long long term it's meant to be only taken for an eight week course and it really shouldn't be allowed to be overused because I've been on this for like 10 years like five years pretty much where it's just been all my calories at least and you know what like it, your goal has to be not to be using this so like like I'm saying in these videos mindset switch to happiness positivity and then you need you need the food and the exercise which is basically the lifestyle yeah so uh, yeah plant based is my hashtag basically and heal it please like like subscribe comment below it really help me out i think just more than anything if you want to go healthy way which is almost it's kind of becoming a little tad it's cut it's almost becoming a bit of a, a trend almost but we need to really like self-promote ourselves and just keep in touch with each other. Otherwise, like those 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 cheese eaters, you know, they're gonna like take over. <laughs> so I'm just thinking almost like we just gotta keep each other like positive or are getting onto this, onto this. And I think that's how it's gotta be like. So thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends.